fingers crossed let's uh, check yes spectralizer now can view in my obs studio before i cannot see this spectralizer here now it's successfully installed First, I want to show you the Mac OS that I use for this uh, tutorial. I am using Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6 MacBook Pro 17 inch late 2011. Let's close this one. Let's go to the application. The OBS I use is version 27.0.1. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's open OBS. Let's open the source. As you can see in the window, you cannot see the spectralizer here, but I already installed this program, but it didn't show up in my source in OBS. So let's fix this. First, you go to Google, Chrome. I am using Chrome in my uh, Mac, so type the spectralizer. Click the website. Then here, click go to download. As you can see, all the software is here, which is version 1.3.4. Okay then the next one you need to create a new folder rename it to spectralizer with capital s as you can see in highlighted in blue in my screen we need to download the four files in here so download this then next one then the third one then the port then show in finder let's copy this all of these files you need to copy it I do it one by one to make it sure that I am copying the correct file so just drag and drop inside the folder this is the port file okay close this one Next, let's go to your hard drive, library, application support, OBS Studio, plugins, spectralizer, right click, and move to trash. This is the one which is not showing in my OBS. Empty the bin. Let's close this one. Next, let's open the spectralizer folder. Then right click, open with, click installer. Click open. 
Then take note with this fftw.org. To make it sure, copy this name here fftw.org. Click continue, continue, agree. Click continue, install, then put your password in your Mac, install software, close, the next is we go to Google, click Google, then type homebrew. open homebrew here you paste the fftw.org then you need to remove the dot org it should be fftw only hit enter then in install command you need to copy this Click this one to copy. Then go to the terminal. In the terminal, paste the one that you copied in Homebrew. Hit enter. The script now is running. Okay, here, this is important. Here, you need to type brew reinstall FFTW. Hit enter. Now, this one is, it will take time because it depends to your internet speed so in my case it takes me four hours to complete the script let's speed up this installation After 4 hours, now it's completed. So next, we go to Maxentos hard drive, then library application support, then OBS Studio plugins. Check now, Spectralizer is now here and Bean Data is here as well. We delete this before so after the script completed the spectralizer folder is show in here the next let's go to application let's locate the OBS right click open let's close this one So the OBS now is open. Let's see and fingers crossed. Let's open the source. Now you can view the spectralizer inside the OBS. So it's it is successfully installed. So spectralizer now is in OBS Studio that's the way how I fix this so if this method is successful to you just leave the comment below so that I know as well type in the comment your Mac OS you are using and the model of your Mac so that I know if this method is work in different OS as well 
So I am using High Sierra MacBook Pro 2011. Thank you very much. Hit the subscribe button and cheers for now.